they know what they're doing and they they are definitely they know the tool well you know because i think that's the biggest issue like i said that we don't have instructions for it so people just don't know what they can create and you can create awesome things today we are learning the technique behind advanced touch of magic tool custom clothing this in-depth guide will show you how polish designer junimo is creating see-through lace mesh bodycon style dresses cut out swimsuits and even tattoos for her character i'm minty plush i make disney dreamlight valley videos and live stream every week if you are ready to master custom clothing bippity boppity that like button and to see more design tips launch maui's hook onto the subscribe button hello hello i'm Junimo. <laughs> let's show you the the process of making the lace right so for example like this um like this one maybe let's do this so let's take a simple chart what is it i'm blind now oh okay so yeah this is uh one of the reasons i started doing things like that because we don't really have a lot of clothing options in the touch of magic tool in my opinion we for example we don't have a long sleeve you know blouse just that we have a turtleneck sweater or something you know <laughs> yes yes and so i was going for different shapes and you know different ideas than what we have in game so that's why i started making the cutouts in dresses and like that uh the one that i showed you maybe actually this one is going to be easier a bit because you know it's more fitting than the sweater okay so basically what i did and this will obviously not work for every skin color in game uh, this is what I'm doing for my character, so, you know, people might have to change the the colors, but the idea will stay the same. So basically what I'm doing is I'm choosing a random color uh, for the dress or the t-shirt that I'm making, and I'm adding uh, a simple shape. It can be a square, it's whatever. And I'm coloring the square in this uh this color that you can see on the almost at the very bottom of the the colors mm -hmm. like really bright red pinky color and then i'm adding a gradient on on top of it the now is that in the same color no the gradient is going to be the color uh below okay so this kind of a skin color beige and then, as you can see, both of them combined, they kind of create the skin, the, the skin color, right? Mm -hmm. And then what you do to get a shape of the cutout that you want is something that I, I really think that not a lot of people know about it. But you can actually use a cut tool here. And it will cut, you know, this shape in the original color of the item that you are designing oh okay. yeah this and then you can for example do the mirror thingy and then you have a cutout right oh perfect oh, i didn't realize the mirror tool did that yeah wow yeah I, I i really think a lot of people don't know because this 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 tool is not intuitive enough in my opinion and we don't get a instruction or anything for it right right Just get the also you know there is no if you hover over it there is no <laughs> description of what it does so for example this globe thingy it actually makes it so that it um how do i say it you know what what i mean it's not flat then the shape it's kind of in the shape of your body then See? oh if you use the globe uh i did not know that yeah i don't think a lot of people know about it so Interesting. That's how you do a simple cutout. And now if you want to add lacing to it, then what I'm using is, as you notice, the, the rose uh, motif. So you can add it whatever, whatever you want, because I'm also using the cut tool. So then, you know, you don't, you don't have to worry about the edges or anything like that, because it's going to be uh, blended with the shirt or dress or whatever you are making. And then you can add more of them uh you know play with the sizes anything 
So that tool at the top not only is bringing the second one into match it, you can then adjust that duplicated motif and it speeds up the design process. Yes, definitely. I'm using it. I'm using the mirror of thingy to, uh, to just duplicate the things that I want. And, you know, then I can rotate them and change the sizes and everything. It will change the size of both of those things if you, if you do this and now this. See, you are working on both of them. But if you click away, you can then work on any of them separately. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I'm using it to, you know, uh, it's a simpler way for me than just adding another layer. I'm just uh, copying them by clicking the mirror um, tool. Wow. And that's how it's done. <laughs> Maybe it's not the best example. <laughs> no, it's an excellent, uh, an excellent example. I will probably do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. That looks really cool. Yeah, that's, that's better, I think. So working uh like this, you can cover any area you want, uh, obviously. And I can show you that I, I made this. Uh, Swimsuit. <laughs> oh, this would be perfect for Dazzle Beach. Yeah. And if you pair it with any shorts. Oh, beach day. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, when you're designing, do you ever, are you ever thinking like, oh, this would be a great outfit to wear, you know, on Dazzle Beach or in Frosted Heights? Yeah, definitely. This one I created because I was spending a lot of time with uh, Ariel trying to get her to level 10. And I was like, let's just make a swimsuit. <laughs> oh, can we see the back? No. Yeah. There's so much detail there. Wow. Oh, it even looks like she's starting to get just a little sunburn at the edges of the swimsuit, like in real life. Yeah. Wow. That's really neat. What a nice detail. And you can add, uh, you know, a lot of other things. I, like I said, I'm keeping the design simple because I like them this way. But I can imagine someone making a swimsuit like that and just adding a lot of things, you know, like flowers or anything they want to have uh, so that it looks, you know, even more beachy, ready to, you know, to swim. <laughs> I was wondering if you could put in a request to Gameloft are there any tools or abilities you would like to see added to the Touch of Magic options? Well, uh, definitely what we need is, like I said, an option to just ho hover over the, you know, the tools that we have now and to see what will they do. I don't know if you know what they do, what this, what this do. No, I don't. What does the two arrows do? Okay, so this basically, this will, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if this is how it works. That's how I'm using it. I will show you. Let's do it with a different shape, maybe. Because I, I'm not really using it that much. Wait, why can't I? I'm not really using the, the, the two arrows that much, but I did use them sometimes. So, for example, I think if we did this, and now this yeah see so oh yeah so it puts it basically what's on the front onto the back yes yes okay that's basically what it does but i don't know why it why it didn't work for the strawberries though maybe they were too small or in a weird place on the front so you know are the, no. the well i see how with even this shirt it's at different heights so maybe because the tank top was lower in the back it wasn't able to match it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what it does. Uh, this tool. This, like I said, and for example, you cannot use some tools, you know, uh, like together. So if you use the globe, you cannot use this because see, it just turns off the globe. So what I oh. want like, actually is for it to stop happening because it, this is cool because then you have sections of the t-shirt, right? You have yes. a section and then you can color the sleeves a different color if you want to. Because if you use the globe here, it will cover the sleeve, right? And that would be cool to use along with this, right? Because why is this ruining my design right now? 
So I don't know why uh, it is like that, why we cannot use the globe and the two arrows uh, tool. But yeah, it is like that. We can use the duplicate thingy and then, you know, take this to the back. So we can do it manually, but it would be easier with the with the arrows tool. The Touch of Magic tool has a lot of different functions. Which ad, uh, aspects of the tool have you found most challenging? Yeah, so definitely uh, learning it as a whole, you know, tool. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a while because you, you just don't understand a lot of things in the beginning. Uh, but I think the most, um, the most challenging was... Probably, yeah, th this globe thing is really cool and we are very limited with it because of, the, you know, of it not working with other tools. But also, I would say that I would like to um, either add more layers, you know, because sometimes you run out of layers. Uh, either add more layers or, or allow us to... Um, oh, wait, because I didn't want to use it on it. Because if you use, like, uh, let's take the strawberry. Uh, if you use the strawberry, for example, if you cover an entire shirt with it, right? Yeah. Like this, like yeah. with the, I don't know how it's called. Pa pattern tool? Yeah, pattern tool, exactly. I would like for it to cover maybe just like this shape can only cover the back, right? Or like certain area of the of the shirt. I would like for the pattern tool to also cover only this area, for example. Oh, that would be very nice. Right? Yeah. Why isn't it allowing me? I, I need to add another layer then to cover these things. If I want to have just a, you know, small area of the strawberries uh, pattern or whatever, and then I want to cover all of it, I need to do it by hand and I need to add a lot of layers to it. And with so the limited layers. Yeah. So either, either give us more layers or, you know, make it more customizable like the you know the, the idea of adding patterns or, or, or things just on a certain area of the design you are making junimo you are becoming a bit of a celebrity in the touch of magic design community for your cutout creations mind telling us about some of your favorite outfits so far so Definitely the one that I'm showing now. So this black dress that I designed for Halloween, actually. <laughs> I did the cutout in the front uh, using different colors of gradient. And then I did the black mesh around it. So it kind of seems like the, you know, the front is completely cut out and then only the mesh around. Yeah. And I was actually playing around with the idea of adding tattoos this way. Oh! In the back is actually a tattoo. Oh, it's beautiful. Is there any way we could get a closer look at that through the Touch of Magic tool? Yeah. So this is the dress. And this is the wait. Oh, what is this? material on your uh, dress. It almost looks like the whole dress is sparkling. Yeah, the sparkling effect is actually in game. So this this dress, by default, it has the sparkling effect. Oh, uh, wow. Game, Yeah. Because uh, this is done on, let's just show you the dress when it's, that's the default look of the dress. Oh, I see. It is sparkly right away, right? Yes. So that's the dress. So you can see how different it is. Yeah. The original look, right? Yeah, the, the sleeves are so elegant as well. And then for the tattoo. Yeah, so that's basically layering in the Touch of Magic tool. So first I did the mesh kind of look. And then I went for the tattoo, so just put uh, the motif on top of it. And that this way it looks kind of like a tattoo. It really does. It really does. Are there uh, any others that just you really um, had fun creating? Yeah, definitely. This is my first one, actually, when I uh, figured out how to do the 
here I was going for a lace look, right? Oh, I so see it. Can, yeah. So this is the first design that I was like, this kind of works. <laughs> yeah. <Kinda> cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. Now, is that the flower motif that comes in the like original options for motifs? Yeah. This is the flower motif from Beauty and the Beast. Exactly. Wow. Wow. And it's used in a way I can't even imagine Gameloft ever thought anyone would do. <laughs> yeah. But we have to work with what we have, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Actually, um, I have a question about motifs. So uh, in my gameplay, the motifs are a bit difficult to find. Do you have any tips on unlocking more? Yeah, definitely feeding the raccoons and foxes. You have the foxes in the um, frozen heights area. So if you feed them, they will often drop motifs. And same with raccoons. Oh, I bet you're their, their favorite visitor. <laughs> you <laughs> unlocked a lot of the uh, companions so far. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not using a lot of motifs because I'm going for the for simple looks, as you can see. So I don't have any crazy looking. This one may be a bit crazy looking. This is a traditional Polish dress. Oh, wow. I did use a bit of motifs here and there, but yeah. Oh, this is a really good example of layering with the pattern tool. Junimo, thank you so much for teaching us these new techniques with the Touch of Magic tool. I've learned a lot. And if you learned something new today, please give the video a thumbs up. By liking it, it's going to help other people see it that need help with the Touch of Magic tool because it's definitely not super intuitive. But after this, I'm personally feeling really inspired and I hope you are too. If you'd like, leave a comment to just say thanks to Junimo or if you have any questions, we'll do our best to help you out or maybe someone else in the community will know. Thank you for watching. My name is Minty Plush. I create Disney Dreamlight Valley guides every week. So please subscribe and I hope that you are having a magical day on your valley.